Hey, this is Mike Evingham here at Natural Current at our test pool location. Now, this is our thermal heater running on two 330 watt panels on our Sunray half horsepower. And this is running really well. It's our return and this is going through the thermal heater. And even in this cloudy day, there's a pretty good difference. I'd say at least five, six degrees of difference right now. And a full day, we'll get to about 10, 12 degrees difference coming out of our heater. Now the water's going through the thermal heater. Our thermal heaters are $16.99, and our main goal is to have 30 feet. So over here we have two 15-footers. These all can float in the water in a big pool. And we cut these at uh, three 10-footers, two 15s, or we give you a one long 30-footer. But that'll definitely give you the thermal heating that you can float in the pool, sit out of the pool, but that'll give you that 10 to 12 degrees warmer water filtering through. And as that builds up throughout the week, uh, you'll have a nice warm pool, you know, close into the 80s. Right now, I bet you this pool is about in the 80s right now, uh, running for the last week, because we had some good weather, except uh, obviously today. This is our half horsepower. Um, we have a little valve here. So we never want to send all the water flow through the thermal heaters. You typically want to only send about three gallons a minute or so through them, uh, so they get a nice flow and it gets heated up well. Then the return, the excess water goes to the return line. And here we can have it so you can feel the difference. Now, when you just touch the wire, you can definitely tell there's well over 10 degrees difference. So, uh, you just got to believe me right now, I'm going to get a thermometer, but, you know, it's feeling really nice and warm. This would be beautiful to swim in. This would be refreshing. This would be going, whoa, this thing's cooking nice and hot. So, that's our thermal heater. Now, these do float in the pool. Um, we have little floats. You can float them right in there, or you can just lay them down on the ground, or... We we'll get some pop-up tables and do it that way. Uh, if you want to just do that for four or five months, that's quick and easy. They roll right up, go right back in the garage. Now it's coming. You gotta wait a oh, second. Good, good. Now how hot do you think that is? That's like 90. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, that's easy 90. Yeah, it just doesn't live like that's that. A, that's exactly what people want for pool water. Yeah. That, that, that's like the average adult, like at night time, that's what they're looking to jump into. Yeah, so the swimming lessons are in water like that. Right, right. Well, that, that costs, a, that might even be 95. Yeah, well that costs like a thousand a month to keep your pool like that. If you're just trying to use your gas heater. It's closer now, but if you put your hand here a while, you're feeling that, you put your hand here and feel that. Yeah. You feel the difference. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's, that's 10, 10 degrees. degrees. Yeah, yeah, that's 10 degrees. That, that's the best I've ever felt it. I'm being like, fuck yeah, that's, that's 15 thing here. And you get a good flow coming through. That would make the difference. Because that, that would eventually, yep. you would move the needle like, you so, know, no BS, like five, six, seven degrees. And the difference between like 67 and like 73 would be the kids are swimming in the pool. Right. The difference between 73 and like 80 is that the adults are swimming in the pool. <laughs> yeah. You know, and so, I mean, where does that fit in? I, I say a couple months on both sides. Mm-hmm. I think so, so too. Being realistic, so you're, you're taking three to four months and turning it into like, like six, seven, eight months, and then on the way to like eighty in school. Yeah. And you get a lot of like that. That doesn't help out of heating. No. Right. You're aerating it in the sixty-five degree air like in the morning. Yeah. It's almost like you're you're, you're chill, that's a chiller down there. Yeah. That's what people do in Texas. They chill the water out by doing that. Right, that's more. we had that El Toro, right, bringing it up. Mm -hmm. We really need to keep them in the circulation. But no, that's, that's good. No, that's good. Well, this for $16.99 is not a bad deal. Right. To get the water cooking, you know, up 10 degrees. Definitely a big difference. $16.99 is just a double 15. So. Yeah, or 310s or 130. Here it comes, ready? Is hot. Is it very hot? Oh, hot? Very hot. Very hot? Yeah. Coming. How hot you think? 110? Oh, How hot? Oh, yeah, it's very hot. How hot? Oh, woo -hoo, woo. Ah, man. Hey, hold on. One more, more agua coming. Oh. Yeah, hold on. I'm getting it set up here. Ah, man. How hot do you think? Ah. Ah. How oh. hot? 110? 111, 112? Yeah. Yeah. It's incredible, huh? Yeah, it works. Mm -hmm. Totally works. We're trying to get the right water flow here. 
We want to have like about four gallons a minute. I just think it's a little too slow. Not so bad. More, more, more water. Less. Yeah. Less. Okay. Well, that's good there, huh? Mm -hmm. Was that yeah. 85, 90? Probably uh, 90, maybe, huh? Maybe 90, maybe 90. 90 degrees. It's good for the shower. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> totally. Well, let it run like that. Bueno. Bueno. Yeah. Mucho bueno. <laughs>